want to learn how to master the art of Thatcher? English Paster here, and in this video, you're going to learn exactly how Thatcher works and how to use him. Let's go! By the way, if you guys like this kind of content, please consider turning your phone sideways and subscribing. Now, Thatcher. For Thatcher's main gadget, he has three throwables called EG MKO EMP Grenades. Yeah, just call them EMPs. These EMP grenades, when thrown, after a few seconds will detonate and destroy or disable enemy gadgets within a 5 meter radius. Keep in mind that the EMP's range is a sphere, so it can reach 5 meters in any direction, as well as through walls and floors. These EMPs can destroy small grass grenades, signal disruptors, entry denial devices, active defense systems, bandit batteries, electro claws, mozzie pests, foul cameras, goo mines, grismont mines, and nitro cells. The EMPs will temporarily disable Pulse Heartbeat Sensor, Yokai Drones, Vigil's ERC-7 ability, Alibi's Prismas, Clash's CCE's Shield Taser, Warden's Smart Glasses, Wamai's Magnets, Surveillance Cameras, and Maestro's Evil Eyes. A quick note on Maestro's Evil Eyes, when they are disabled, a crack will open up, allowing you to shoot through the crack and destroy the Evil Eye. Another not well known fact about the EMP is that it will temporarily disable Defender Red Dot, Hollow, and Reflex Sights. As a Defender, you can still aim down sights, but you won't see the electronic reticle. Another note when using the EMP grenades is that there's a 3 second detonation timer, and you cannot cook the EMPs to make them detonate faster. Also when throwing an EMP, also keep in mind that it is a throwable, meaning ADSs will zap them if it has a lie of sight on them. This goes for Womai's as well. Now let's go and talk about how you should play Thatcher. Obviously, Thatcher is a support player. Your main goal, like Maverick, should be to help open main walls. So at the beginning of each round, make sure you stick with your hard breachers and do not die. A common consensus on attack is that usually, at the start a round, especially when you're playing a 5 stack, the support players will drone the entry players in. Thatcher and Thermite, usually your two support players, will most likely do be doing this job. So make sure you save your drones as Thatcher so that you can complete your first task. As Thatcher, you're really never going to play entry. Even if you're not playing in a 5 stack and you don't have the communication, his utility is just way too valuable. After you join your entries in and the entries are all nice and situated, you can then follow your entries and enter the building. Your next order of service is to use your EMPs. You don't want to waste them, but you still want to use them fairly frequently. Using one of your EMPs just to get a single evil eye usually is still a great trade. Realistically, if you can get any utility that you cannot shoot, it's usually a pretty decent trade. If your team's gonna like enter a doorway and you drone in and see there's maybe a Grisnaut mine and a Legion Goo mine, I would use an EMP. Like I said before, you don't want to waste it, but don't be afraid to use this utility, because once you've done so, you're free to run Thatcher as a guy with a gun. In a normal round as Thatcher, I'd probably use an EMP on the one on the main wall, one in the OBJ to get an evil eye or other utility, and one in maybe a doorway to clear a pest or a mute jammer. One note with the EMP, if you can use EMPs on the roof above the objective, do it. One of these examples is like CCTV on Clubhouse. You can clear a bunch of site utility without actually going into the site, leading to a better execute. Now that you know how to play him, why should you play Thatcher? First and obvious reason is to open main walls. Thatcher supports Thermite players to open main walls and does it very easily and very effectively. Without a Thatcher, you'll need to destroy bandit batteries, electric claws, and anything else using a different method, such as opening up above the objective or using a Maverick, Cali, or Twitch. If you can, I really recommend that you play Thatcher's most rounds. Actually, to prove my point, let's just do a quick comparison between the other operators and Thatcher. Starting with Kali because her gadget emulates Thatcher's the most. Starting with the kit, Kali is a sniper, which has the possibility of being really good in the right hands, but for most people it will not go too well. But there's, that's the only primary hat she has, and her secondary, the C75 Auto, I know a lot of people like that gun, but it's just not versatile enough to run that as your entry weapon. Thatcher on the other hand has two really easy to use and pretty decent overall primaries. Now moving on to the gadgets, Kalis can be easily tricked by a Kaeter Bandit and also has a very small radius compared to the EMPs, making it difficult to get electric claws anyways. Thatcher on the other hand, while you can Bandit trick him if the Bandit plays it well enough, it is more difficult to do so 
and EM EMPs will be able to reach far up the lecture class. Also, the Thatcher's gadget is way more versatile, allowing you to throw them on rooftops or other places to clear utility through walls and floors before you enter. I think it's safe to say that Thatcher is the better pick. Now comparing Thatcher to Maverick, I think we can all agree that Maverick's kit beats Thatcher's handily. There are two big reasons why Thatcher is usually played more though. The first thing is the versatility of his gadget. You can only use it to breach walls and floors so you can possibly destroy utility with frags or just straight up shooting him. That's a big if. His breaching torch offers much more in the hard breach department. Plus, he is a lot harder and much more dangerous to use, so he can be an intimidating pick for those that don't play him often. But hey, if you want to learn how to play Maverick, I'll probably throw a card above to my Maverick guide. Also, please comment down below your favorite operator or other operators you want to see guides on. Moving on to Twitch, I wouldn't even consider her close to Thatcher, especially utility-wise. The chances of you getting a drone on site and destroying all of the utility before the defenders shoot it is quite slim. Again, Twitch's kit might be slightly better than Maverick's, but with the constant nerfs to the F2, it is a much harder gun to use. And like I said, her utility is nothing compared to Thatcher's. Overall, for just simple utility destruction, Thatcher offers the most, while being relatively simple and easy to use for the newer players. Alright guys, now you know it won't be an EP video without a demo. So right now I'm just chilling on a house with Thatcher, I'm going to show you guys how you can open walls with your Thermite. While the strategy isn't exactly foolproof against Bandit tricks, a Bandit will have a lot harder time to be able to do it successfully. Cade isn't even relevant here, you don't, he won't even have time to trick. It's actually really simple, and you probably could do it solo queuing, but having a teammate in Discord or whatever, usually it'll, it'll help. All you really need to do is have an EMP in your hand, and once your thermite starts th placing it, you're just going to place your EMP, and you have your thermite pop in, and the bandit really won't have time to trick. And that's really it. Not completely foolproof, but against players that are, say, you know, aren't platinum above, it'll be probably more successful than that. And it's really simple and easy to do. That's now taking a look at Thatcher's loadout, of course he's a 2 speed, 2 armor attacker. Looking at his loadout, he has three primaries, the AR-33, the L-85, and the shotgun. Don't run the shotgun, please don't run it. I made a video on shotguns, don't really, you don't want to run on offense. Now the difference between these two weapons, they're both really good and you could use either of them. But I'd say the L85 you probably want to use it as for more beginner players. It has more manual recoil and a lower fire rate as well as higher capacity. So it just makes sense if you're a newer player. And if you're not newer and you're you can manage a recoil, I'd highly recommend running the AR33 because of the the higher fire rate. Because fire rate is just king of this game. So you want to run the high fire rate. For attachments on this weapon, I run there is there is some recoil on this gun, so I usually run vertical grip flash. You do see a lot of people, especially back, you'd see a lot of people run angled grip. So if you can run angled grip, I highly recommend doing that. And maybe you'd want to run a hollow grip. But I think flash hire does the best for flash hire vertical ACOG does the best if you want to control the recoil better. L85, if you're gonna run that, ACOG vertical grip compensator. You could run flash again, but Compensator works best in this on this gun, I'd say. Moving on, moving on to the secondary, P226. Always run muzzle brake on pistols unless you're maybe IQ and you want to run suppressor, but muzzle brake always. And then f this the secondary gadget where it gets a little complicated. So for example, I'd say when you're attacking cafe, if you're attacking cafe third floor cocktail, you'd probably want to run claymore because you don't need soft breach on that. You don't need a soft breach to soft breach to attack third floor. And plus the staircases, you probably want a claimer for the staircases. But if you're attacking, say, the bakery, you might want breaching charges. I'd say for a good rule of thumb, if you don't have two uh, you know, attackers that have soft breach capability, so let's say a sledge, buck, someone else with breaching charges, if you don't have two players that have soft breach capability, I'd say run breach charges. But otherwise, claimer does, especially when you're opening main walls, claimers are just really good for runouts. 
And that's really it for Thatcher's kit. Overall, pretty solid kit. Thatcher does one more thing really well. Liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hey, maybe you're also like Thatcher and are really good at liking, commenting, and subscribing. Stay tuned, because my next video is hopefully going to be a really good one. That's all I got, and I'll see you guys next time.